true as uh, I'll start with the yoga that came first. Um, a myoga was uh, as a way of background. A myoga is uh, a government program that was initiated by the president of Uganda, and it was officially launched in 2019. And it was mainly targeting the people who were subsistent. And by then, the statistics were showing us that there were 68 percent of every we we had 68 out of every 100 Ugandans under subsistence. And a myoga came targeting people who were engaged in specific activities that I'm going to highlight below. A myoga came targeting people in the following skill enterprises. A myoga targeted border borders, it targeted women entrepreneurs, it targeted carpenters, it targeted saloon operators, it targeted restaurant owners, a myoga targeted welders. It targeted market vendors, youth leaders, persons with disabilities, produce dealers, mechanics, tailors, journalists, performing artists, veterans, fishermen, and elected leaders. It also had targeted by then, since it was COVID time, it targeted private teachers. But this was moved to the Ministry of Education, and we did not have private teachers benefiting under this program. Why did they bring a yoga program for our people? There were basically four reasons as why yoga was brought. One, a yoga was brought to create jobs for our people. And we are glad to note that, as you can see from here, all our beneficiaries who are engaged in the various enterprises got employment opportunities and others created opportunities for our youth and other people. A myoga came to provide seed capital to our people. And as you've been hearing, Honorable Minister from our people, they are saying that they got money that enabled them to do the various activities that they have. And this money is very cheap. For a myoga beneficiary, you are supposed to, to pay only 1% per month at the lowest level. But it's, that money is supposed to be accessed by the association from the circle at only 8% per year, and then it will extend to our final beneficiary down at 12% per year. That's 1% per month. The other thing that Emioga came to do is to increase the income levels at the household level in our communities. And we are glad to note that this has happened with, with, with some of our beneficiaries, not uh, notwithstanding the challenges that they have mentioned here. We would like to thank the government of Uganda for sending a Myoga money. As a district, we received 1 billion and 90 million shillings in the first year of a Myoga implementation. The next year of a Myoga implementation, we did not receive any additional seed capital from government. But the subsequent year, we received 40 million shillings. And the additional money, ladies and gentlemen, was not given to everybody. The additional money was given to circles that showed capacity to pay back the money. So it's only those circles where people were paying back money, since this was supposed to be is revolving fund, they are the only ones that were given. And. Um, Last, this current financial year, again, we received another additional 80 million shillings that benefited four circles across the district. In terms of uh, institutions that were formed under Mioga, as a district, we formed a total of 1,104 associations. And um, out of this so far, um, 226 have benefited. Um, these groups managed to accumulate savings that people have been talking about here of up to the tune of 421 million shillings. For you to qualify for, a for money and a yoga, you must have first put in something. Then government will multiply what you have put there times three. And that was the condition. 
the people who were not able to comply with this could be the ones that you are saying they did not get. But everybody who complied and the circle cleared you to get the money, you were given the money. To date, we have been able to disperse a total of 100, I mean 1 billion, 123 million shillings to our people. And the number of people that have benefited in Bukedia District local government and the Mioga total to 1,403, both male and female. In terms of recoveries, Honorable Minister, for this money, the recovery level is not very good, as you can hear from some of these people who have spoken here. To date, we have the information that we have, we have been able to recover only 114 million shillings. This figure could be more than this because we have not got the most recent information from our people. But I know we are in the range of less than 15% recovery as a district. Honorable Minister, in this report, we have clearly stated the name of the circle, how much it goes got in the first financial year of Emyoga implementation, and then up to this current year that we, we, we are in. However, I would, like, I would like to take this opportunity to highlight some of the challenges that we have encountered as implementing uh, officers, both at the sub-county level and at the district level. One, like I stated earlier on, we had a number of quite a large number of, uh, of people that joined to form this association. For example, under the, the, the circle of uh, produce dealers, we registered 260 associations across the district to share the 30 million, I mean 60 million shillings that was given, 30 for Kachumbala and then 30 for Bukedia County. So the numbers were overwhelming and most people uh, somehow uh, got relaxed because they saw they were not able to access the money there and then because they wanted to get the money there and then. Some of the people who joined these groups did not belong to the, to the targeted enterprises, Honorable Minister. You will find somebody joined the group for mechanics, but he does not even know which, which size of uh, a spanner can uh, fix a car tire. Somebody says they are, they, are, they, are, they are restaurant owners, but they don't have any restaurant anywhere. And it was a big challenge for us. The mindset, especially during the time of inception of the program, even now, as you can hear from the testimonies of people who have spoken here, it was very poor about this program. Honorable Minister, I will not be ashamed to say, during time for sensitization, of a MIOGA program in this district, and particularly this particular county, we were just from here, myself and other DCVN. Member said, you guys are coming here to lie us. Kampala, they are giving every circle 100 million. You are coming here to tell us that every circle is going to receive 30 million shillings. It happened. And then even among the the, the technical staff, some people also do not understand the program very well. The same applies to the political wing. And the, some politicians made statements that are making us fail to recover the money to date as we talk. They say oh, that, 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 that first installment came towards the time for election of 2021. They are saying this is Casimo from the president. 